Thanks a lot. Then you get me a smush, smush one. They are very hard, aren't they? Right? We're getting ready for the homecoming um, parade and pep assembly. This is a different kind of pep assembly. We are celebrating all the generosity and all the kindness that you have shown today to make a difference for someone else. Okay? So all these things that you see here, they are not going to be going to any Cook students or their houses today. There are people here that are gonna take them and go to other places and we're gonna learn about that in just a minute. So the reason we have this day is because mm, about eight and seven and six years ago, there was a student here named McKenna Schumer. Raise your hand only if you know McKenna or if you knew of her or you were a neighbor to her. Good. So her story is when she got over to Mason, she got sick, okay? She had an injury and it went all over her body and sadly McKenna passed away two years ago today. Two years ago she passed away, but guess what? She is so proud of you for doing all this work that you did today. So we're gonna do a little bit of a slideshow to show you some of the things that you did today and you're gonna hear about where those things are gonna go, okay? So watch carefully, here we go. So kindergarten, your, um, your gifts, which are over on this table, are going over to Hurley Hospital. Hurley Hospital takes care of kids that have cancer, which is what McKenna had. And they don't stay there overnight, but they do um, go there for treatment. Where's Charlie? Come on up here. Charlie goes to this hospital every week, right? He goes to this hospital every week. Sometimes there's pokes involved and he sometimes gets to take a prize out of the poke box. Next slide, please. There we go. So what we did is we made um, gifts, that books, puzzles, crafts, fun stuff, even for the grown-ups, so that when he is there, he can pick a prize out of the poke box. So all these things are going to the poke box. Kindergarten teachers that gave gifts to kids, Come on up, and Hurley Hospital reps, come on up. Let's give a round of applause. So these ladies are here from Hurley Hospital, and they're going to tell you a little bit about these, um, what's going on at their hospital and why these gifts are important. Hi guys, my name is Lissora. This is my friend Amanda, and we know your friend Charlie very, very well. Every week when he comes to the hospital, and we wanted when we heard what you guys were doing today, we wanted to come out and especially give you a very big thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Right now, in the clinic that Hurley that, or that Charlie gets his medicine at and he gets his pokes, we have 14 kids there just today. So those kids that are getting pokes are going to get a get to pick a prize out of that poke box just because of you guys. Charlie, how does it make you feel when you get to get a poke prize? Very happy really happy. So you guys are going to make a whole lot of kids at Hurley very, very happy. So thank you so much for doing this. Thank you to all the kindergarten kids. Thank you so, so much. That's awesome. Okay, so ooh, let's take a look at what was going on today in some of the kindergarten rooms. Mrs. Grace is going to hit the next slide. And... Some of that's really good at Google Slides, come on up and help out, real fast. There we go. So there's pictures of things going on. They decorated cards, they went to a wrapping station where they helped select um, a present and something to be wrapped. 
and you can see that I'm really, really happy and excited to be doing it. And we didn't even sign our cards because we wanted it to be anonymous. We wanted them to just feel good about giving away stuff. First grade, you're up next. So first grade is giving to the Center of Hope. Come on up, first grade teachers. And Center of Hope representative, come on up. but many, many, many little containers like this filled with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and we are actually going to be having these go to the center of hope. And when people don't have a home and they need to come to the special center to get a shower, they get to come and they take one of these containers and they get to have a warm shower, they get clothes, they get to have food, and we just do whatever we can to help out. So they said that this was their need and this is what they wanted. So we filled all those containers and then think how many showers that is. Think how many people get to have a clean shower. Oh, a clean shower to be able to have that. So let's give first grade a round of applause. a little bit and tell us a little bit about what they do there and then we'll show you some pictures. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi again. I'm Miss Ray from Center for Hope. I just first want to say thank you so much for putting something in your bucket. It really means a lot to someone who cannot do it for themselves. They really, really can't do it. So thank you for helping doing it for them. Thank you all a lot. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at some pictures of what first grade. Oh, so there they are. Sometimes they took the big bottles of shampoo today and they moved it into the little containers so that that way they just get the right amount for each shower. So let's look at what it was like. First grade, raise your hand if you did this today. And did you get any on your desk by chance? Are your tables a little bit soapy or smooth from lotion? When you go home today, your moms and dads will probably say, oh man, you smell like you had a shower at school. Well, this is why, thank you for all that help. And I think last year was a, like a couple thousand maybe, so that's really good, a huge number. All right, let's take a look at second grade. Second grade teachers, come on up. They've divided into two different, um, they're gonna be giving their um, gifts today to two different organizations of so teachers, and if you have some students that are coming up, and anybody from the Pines or Tranquility Estate, please come on up. Your stay there. I'm an RM. 
<laughs> I help people with cancer, but I did have it. And here I am. I'm 90. 90. Hit play. Hit play on 